Hi, this is Tamia Wilkerson with Home Smart Realty, also a investor, and I'm out here at um, 167 Jones Cane Road. We're starting to work on it, um, so it will be coming soon. It's on a very nice street. It actually has a lot of land. It's going to take you inside a bit. As we do the renovation, I always like to show you what's going on. So we already started moving a lot of the belongings outside the home that needed to go in the dumpster. We have a lot of stuff over here. I will be um, putting some things on Marketplace and around um, that might be um, able to be sold. So going inside, we'll most likely change out the railings. I don't really like these railings very much, but we'll see. We're going to look at changing probably this door area. There was always a crack there and that's going to be hard to fix, but we'll see. We might be able to just um, do something else around the door area. All right, going inside, underneath this carpet is hardwood floor. Um, at the time we put this in, because my grandmother needed to get up the stairs, that's going to come out. And once again, these railings are not to code anymore. They will be grandfathered in, but for the most part, I most likely will change them out, but it does get a little expensive with railings, but I will most likely do that. Then coming around here, I'm looking at taking out the, um, it's oil uh, heat that's fueled by water. And so um, all this baseboard heat is going to come out and putting in a new gas system. I'm going to be updating the windows and putting in replacement windows. I will be um, selling some of her dining room pieces. If anyone's interested in anything, hit me up. And then this whole kitchen is going to be getting um, taken out and we are opening up this wall and also this wall as much as we can so it's an open concept into the kitchen into the dining eating area the the paneling will um get switched over to drywall The whole bathroom will be getting fully redone with new tile and uh, toilet and so forth. Most likely I'll have to see, I might, uh, I used a refinisher the last time for the tub and it really came out nice, but we'll see. I don't want to play that out. And then... This space here, we're going to put uh, a light in the ceiling. As you'll see it has hardwood floors throughout. We're going to do new doors and new trim. Baseboard, all that stuff is going to get redone. This is um, the master bathroom, a master bedroom. It also has a small half bathroom. This is kind of cute. At least you have one if you have to go. Some closet space. Does have a it does have nice uh has a linen closet. It also has a hall coat closet, which is really nice. Some places don't have that. And um 
all this here. This is another bedroom. It used to have carpet, so we're totally sweeping up all this dirt. We just ripped up some of the carpet and to show the wood floors. All the windows, once again, it's going to be getting redone. And then um, there are certain things that we're going to have to do with the attic. I did get a home inspection report. I already pulled, uh, uh, had the survey done. I already um, paid for the engineer because this property has septic. So there's a lot of things um, that I will be doing and reviewing as I go through. Um, as you know, um, I have an architecture background and a master's in technology education. So I will be doing some investor courses and going through in detail what I'm doing through my properties. And I do have a couple of investor partners that are interested in learning um, how to invest. And so I will be going through, whether it's a mobile home or a house, going through how it starts and what needs to go on and looking at some of the budget and um, how to make sure you're looking at the comps and the appraisal and so forth. So um, if anyone is interested in learning more information, definitely hit me up. There is a an extra room down here. We are going to be keeping this just as a room. A lot of people, of course, will probably still use it as other things but it will increase the septic size, probably in the sense that I would have to pay almost $10,000 more, saying that this house is a four bedroom versus going with a three bedroom. So I am going to keep it a three bedroom, even though, you know, it might even out, um, but it is what it is. Most buy levels, um, they advertise one way, but the septic system is another. Um, but just to let you know, that is technically not a bedroom. And it does have a half down here. And it has a laundry room. Which this whole system will be um, looking at getting redone. And then we cleaned out the attic. Sorry, not the attic. Ooh, garage. We cleaned out the garage. We did clean out the attic too. Let's turn on some lights. So we've actually done a lot of work so far. In just the first process of cleaning out, there was a lot of personal belongings and sorting through them and so forth. Um, that's always the hardest step and that is the first step we did. So now that we um, sorted everything, um, you know, we do give certain things to family members and also uh, looking at selling and so forth. So if that is a service that you need, definitely hit me up. Um, that is something that we do and it takes a lot of time and it's something that you wouldn't have to do. So, um, Tamia Wilkerson, Home Smart Realty, also an investor, um, hit me up, 856-308-5606. Once again, 856-308-5606. And you'll see that um, this property um, will be available soon. I'm gonna to try to get it done as fast as possible. As you see, it's a nice street. And just so you see the backyard a little bit, I'll go around just so you see that. This property has a lot of land. We also did clean out the shed. There's a nice amount of land. This water, as I said, is septic and well water. Okay. 
So definitely, it has a lot um, that's uh, a great potential. With this property, I'm also going to look into the difference of uh, going forward with an easement and some other advanced things. This property has two lots. And so um, just seeing uh, some other advanced things that I can teach um, uh, along with going through things with zoning. I always like to learn more things and, um, and then I can share them with others. So there's always things that can be done. And this is the first property that I'm doing that is septic. Usually I do a lot of public uh, water and uh, public sewer. I do feel that they're easier and a bigger profit because then you don't have to worry about the expense of a new septic system. Okay, so definitely um, get in touch with me, um, 856-308-5606, if you would like any help selling your home, uh, getting your home worked on, and so forth. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.